been circulating projections on COVID-19. The projected numbers were grim before strict social distancing started. Our Daytona Everett's in studio with more on the numbers. Gina, we have an incredible team of medical professionals right here in the Coachella Valley. They're crunching these numbers day in and day out. And that information is then fed to leaders like Congressman Raul Ruiz. Lately, that research is revealing hundreds of lives have already been saved. The first stages were of concern for Dr. Patricia Cummings and her team of epidemiologists. The Coachella Valley was actually trending higher than our worst case scenario in the first two weeks of April. Is it true that we are flattening the curve right now? After April 14th, we finally started to see a flattening of the curve. April 14th, Governor Gavin Newsom was asked about the timeline for California reopening, in which he replied, ask me in two weeks. Dr. Cummings says thanks to protective measures and physical distancing since then, lives have been saved in the valley. From April 14th to yesterday, we potentially have averted about four to 5,000 COVID cases in our valley and about 300 deaths um, averted potentially. The models are adjusting every day, but the team has far greater information now than when they began making calculations. They are just one piece of the puzzle that can help decision makers make informed um, decisions when we, we have very limited, limited information. So does that information conclude it's safe to reopen? Now that we're slowly starting to reopen, for example, golf courses, we actually have in the past week have started to see a little, little bit of an increase again. So I think that's why we really need to be careful about how we're reopening. Dr. Cummings says with social distancing, ramped up testing, and the correct criteria met at the state level. I think that's we can start reopening a lot of these businesses. Dr. Cummings says peak infection infection dates depend on public health interventions. If no measures were taken, she projected the peak to be June 16th. With measures in place, that move that date is moved back, generally speaking. For NBC Palm Springs, I'm Daytona Everett.